Well, Harvey Proctor joins us now. So you've been told no charges against you. That should be something that people hear with relief. But you're left in a very difficult position, aren't you? What, what are you facing now? Well, this has caused me to lose my job mm. and my house, my future and my present. Uh, so obviously I feel upset about that. Mm -hmm. I have to now seek to rebuild my life um, and that will be difficult. I started to rebuild my life in 1987, mm -hmm. took 28 years, mm -hmm. and in 15 hours the police smashed that down. Um, Mr. Proctor, I think, you know, one of the things that will come out of your story in the Operation Midland fiasco in its entirety is the whole argument about anonymity. We have to obviously be careful with certain things that we say, but uh, those accusations are made against you and others. They have since been dropped. I know that you had property taken from you 14 months ago, which has never been returned. Um, many people watching this would say, you've been brought out, you've done this, you've had that said. The guy that made the accusations that apparently didn't materialize, what happens to him? Well, that's for others to decide. I have views about that. Um, in terms of um, the future, uh, I have to think about myself. What am I going to do now? How am I going to do? Uh, uh, um, how am I going to resurrect the life that I had? That's going to be impossible. I have a short period of time. I don't have 28 years to do it, but I'm looking for employment. I can't not work. I'm that sort of person. I need to work. Uh, so I have to try to put this beside me. I've written a book, Credible and True, published today. That's what I don't understand. Just have always tried to be honest with people. Yes. You talk about how you were a Tory MP, um, the scandal that cost you your seat, you rebuilt your life, you worked uh, for the Rutlands, you had everything, and a year ago, Operation Midland bashed down the door, took your stuff, and have ruined your life. And yet you're sat on national television, and you'll presumably do other press, to promote a book which brings it back into the public eye. The question would be, why did you do that when you didn't want this to be so public? It's cathartic. Uh, I spent, th I could not have existed, I could not have survived this last six months with the pressures every day mm. from you, the media, and others. Thinking every day, is it a call from my sister mm. bringing me back to the country Your side to face of the charges? Argument, the cathartic so putting this, in that side? This is the truth. Mm. I have written down how it's affected me. What actually happened is in the book. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, you said about anonymity. I do believe there should be a change of the law. Uh, and in this, yeah. I agree probably the very few things I agree with uh, Sir Bernard Hogan Howe, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, that there should now be anonymity before charge for suspects mm. as well as alleged mm. complainants. So, Operation Midland has been closed down. The police have said very clearly, I know you've wanted an apology, but they've said we're not going to apologise. We were doing our well, job. I, we should, need people, yes. just to put their side of the story as well, they, we need people to be able to feel free to come forward uh, in order to pursue genuine child abuse claims. And also, there have been, as we know, many cases in the past where things were left uninvestigated, unreported, and for which people have cost, you know, and paid a very heavy price for. So it's quite difficult to balance out, isn't it? And that is where the police have overbalanced. The pendulum has swung too far back in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've seen in Operation Midland this last year. What is the book called, Mr. Proctor? Credible and True, the political and personal memoir of K. Harvey Proctor. Well, well uh, people will read and make their yeah. own judgment. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you very much. Britain. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.